All right, so a lot of people have been asking me to cover the NVIDIA control panel. In this video, I'm going to explore some common questions about the NVCP, and then I'm going to dive into my personal configuration for optimizing gameplay and visuals in Escape from Tarkov. Join me as we aim for the perfect balance between high frame rates, stunning visuals, vibrant colors, and enhanced visibility. The NVIDIA control panel is a powerful utility that allows you to unlock the full potential of your NVIDIA GPU. Accessing it is pretty straightforward. On Windows, you can right click anywhere on your desktop to bring up a context menu. From there, click show more options and you'll see the option for the NVIDIA control panel. Additionally, you can access it from the lower right hand tray menu by right clicking the NVIDIA icon and selecting NVIDIA control panel. So here's a rundown of the settings I adjust in NVIDIA control panel for Escape from Tarkov. I like to tune for the best blend of high frame rates along with high setting visuals, vibrant colors, and high visibility. So first, I go to global settings and adjust the shader cache. If you're having stutter issues, make sure you have the extra drive space and try changing this setting. I use unlimited. Next, we'll go into the program specific settings. So if you don't have Escape from Tarkov in this list here, go ahead and click add and find your application or browse for it here. All you need to do is go into your C drive, Battlestate Games, EFT, and select Escape from Tarkov. Once you have it in your list, select it. And here are the settings that I change personally. For image sharpening, I use a setting of 0.5 and ignore film grain at 0.17. A sharper image leads to easier recognition of targets in my opinion. Doing it from the control panel increases the visual quality and you don't take a performance hit. For monitor technology, I stick with fixed refresh. This is my own preference. Everyone has different thoughts on this, but I prefer not to use any syncing tech and I prefer to see the raw output rather than prioritizing uh, screen tearing. For power management mode, I leave it on prefer maximum performance. This ensures that the card stays at its maximum performance state when 3D applications are running, regardless of GPU usage. This can increase power consumption, so if you're energy conscious, then keep that in mind. For preferred refresh rate, I leave it on highest available. This setting will override a game's built-in refresh rate to the max refresh rate on your monitor. Next are the texture filtering options. I use anisotropic sample optimization on. This gives you higher performance with a minimal loss in image quality. For negative LOD bias, I set it to allow for higher performance. So next up is texture filtering quality. I leave it on high performance to get the max frame rate. For trilinear optimization, I also leave this on for higher performance with the minimal loss in quality. Threaded optimization, I leave on auto. I've never seen a difference changing this setting for Tarkov, so I just leave it on default. Triple buffering, same thing. V-Sync, same thing. I leave V-Sync off in the in-game settings. Tarkov's graphics have a gritty and desaturated aesthetic. It reflects the game's dark and unforgiving atmosphere. I think this helps a lot with the game's immersive experience. However, the default graphics style makes it very difficult to see and the colors are usually drowned out a bit. Personally, I like to add a bit of gamma so that there is less contrast between the dark and light areas in the game. And I also increase the digital vibrance, which is basically like increasing saturation of colors. And I kick it up right about to 70. To wrap up, Optimizing your visual experience in Escape from Tarkov requires attention to three main components. One, the NVIDIA control panel, two, your monitor settings, and three, your in-game settings. While we've covered the NVIDIA control panel in detail today, it's important not to overlook the other two. For recommendations on configuring your monitor settings and in-game options, be sure to check out the links on screen or in the video description below. Dive into my comprehensive settings guide and my monitor settings guide for further assistance in fine tuning your visual setup to perfection.